Hello, this is Bruno Pelletier Backer. And on, uh, on this blog today, I would like to continue with some of the uh, Q&A um, that, um, that I started <clears throat> in previous blogs. Today's question is in particular about school, music school in particular. That's, um, that's something that people often um, will ask is they, they wonder if I, I would recommend that they go to a music school. So first of all, um, I'm assuming that they are considering a career as a musician, a professional musician, where, whatever that means. And by school, I'm of course here talking about college, you know, university. Um, so in that case, my answer is yes. I think a serious musician, somebody who wants to embark in a uh, professional career as a musician, let's say as a jazz musician, because that's primarily what, I, um, what I'm talking about here. Um, yes, uh, you should be going to, to college, to music school. Now, something you can, you can, um, you can ask yourself is the musicians, uh, like the famous players whom, we, whom you know, like people you, uh, you admire and, um, you know, people whose careers, you know, you, you hope to, to, to emulate one way or another. Well, chances are they all went to a music school at some point. You know in their in their life um, now it doesn't mean they all went through the the entire program I mean the, your typical university program is at least four years um, and a lot of them did not go through the whole uh, program and I'm not gonna start naming people here but you know just look and you know read interviews or look at resumes um, a lot of the well-known players, whether they're guitar players or, you know, other instrument players, they all somehow went to school. You know, they went to Berkeley, they went to uh, North Texas University, uh, NYU, um, what else is there? Well, Miami, Univers University of Miami, which is where I went. Um, everybody, almost, let's say just about everybody went to school even if it's only one year, two years, three years. You know, a lot of, you know, a lot of those people may have dropped out, um, but they still went to, to a music school. Now, the reason why people ask that question, why is it important to go to music school, is because there's usually a feeling that there's a lot of wasted time in, in college, in music, uh, in music programs. And... Um, and there's a point there, you know, I, I remember um, when I was in school thinking sometimes, oh, we're moving slow or I, I don't want to learn this. I would rather do that instead. Or, you know, we, we have to take classes that we don't really want to, to take. Like, for instance, I, I remember uh, um, when I arrived as, you know, I wanted to be a jazz guitarist and I was shocked to find out that, you know, we all had to take um, at least a year of classical guitar. And I was like, well, I don't want to take classical guitar lessons. That's not why I'm, I came all the way here. You know, I want, I want to play jazz. I want to, you know, take jazz guitar lessons uh, only. I don't want to have to take uh, classical guitar lessons. Well, um, it wasn't a bad thing, you know, even though I hated it at the time, years later, I was actually quite thankful that I had been, you know, taking those uh, two semesters, it was, of, um, of uh, classical guitar. You know, I learned a lot from that, uh, even though I was certainly not able to, to, to understand it at the time. Um, there is also, you know, I was talking about wasted time, like in, in terms of uh, like the pace that we learn certain things at. Um, years later, you know, I, I often would think, oh, wow, you know, 
it took us so much time to go through this little thing in class, whereas we could have, um, you know, gone through the same material maybe a little faster. Well, okay, possibly. No, those are those are some of the negative things about about school. Um, but what what would I consider the most important thing um, about going to school? It's really the networking. It's it's the fact that um, it's usually the, the, the similar situation for most people when when they arrive um, in a music school. It's usually for the first time in, in their life and in my life, um, we are among people like us, you know, like it's incredible to see all those young people um, hanging out and learning jazz at the same time. And it's so motivating and, and it's so inspiring to, to be constantly talking about music all day long. Uh, play late at night, practice late at night, just um, just do nothing but but work on this instrument that we like, learn more about this music that we like, listen to music together when we don't play together, comment. Um, I cannot I cannot tell you how inspiring that alone was. And uh, and I mentioned networking. Well, the networking I'm referring to in this case is really more um, the connections that you, you keep once you are out of school. Um, for instance, when I, uh, when I moved to New York, who did I look up first? The people I had gone to school with in Miami. Um, and it's really helpful to you know, arrive in a new, new city and uh, and have people whom you know and people whom you can trust usually because you know where they came from you know you all went to school together uh, they can recommend you for job for jobs they can um, um, use you as a, as a sub for some of their gigs help you find um, housing I mean we're talking like all kinds of things you know show you around town uh, take you to clubs help you meet people and so on, and um, and you can you'll also if you listen to interviews or if you've read you know um, stories about some of the people you you like, you often will notice that um, somebody often gets a job in a band as a bass player or as a guitar player simply because they were recommended by their friend who was already playing in that band and when the, the you know the, the the band leader asked them oh do you do you know a guitar player you know do, do you have any um ideas who we should get as a guitar player well sure enough who are they going to call they're going to call the people they know from school you know people they 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 had uh, early um early connections with so I, I think that's really the most important thing about school. It's not so much what you are actually going to be learning in the school, even though that is important, and it sure depends on what school you, you go to. I mean, some schools are obviously better than others, you know, with the, um, it all depends on sometimes, you know, what makes your experience in a school great or miserable is really the, the one or two teachers whom you happen to have in that school. So that's one thing, you know, learning in school, the, the information that's already uh, important. But again, uh, it's really all the connections um, that you, you will make uh, when in school that will eventually will help you later in your career, whether it's getting uh, gigs um, in a touring band or gigs in, you know, in town, recommendations or even teaching jobs you know how often often enough um, um, you you, um, you will be able to teach somewhere because you have a music degree you know if you don't have a music degree and on top of that recommendations from people who know you people who you know you went to school with chances are you're, you're just not going to get um, get any any work so um, I think those reasons are definitely uh, good reasons to consider going to school. Um, what um, what some people claim 
which is kind of true at the same time. You know, they'll say, well, you know, instead of wasting all your money in school, why don't you take um, different lessons from, from a few prominent teachers? You know, like you can move somewhere, like say you can, um, let's say arbitrarily, I'm not even sure that's even possible nowadays, but let's say you move to Berkeley, you know, you move to Boston, um, and you and you th you're thinking, you know what? I'm I'm not going to go to school. I'm not going to spend all my money on those expensive um, courses. I'll just approach all those different teachers because a lot of them, uh, at least, they used to teach outside of school. Uh, that's why I'm saying I'm not so sure it's it's really possible uh, anymore because some of those teachers might be just too busy with school and their career on the side. Um, so it may not always be always be possible, you know, to to approach those people out of the blue and, and say, hey, I know I'm just a guitar student. I'd like to take lessons with you. I mean, maybe in some cases, yes, but maybe we shouldn't count too much on that. But in any case, even if it's not Boston, it could be you know, any other city. You could say go to New York and then um, move to New York and then take lessons with, uh, you know, the few people whom you think are uh, important there. Um, well, you will learn a lot by doing that, and and uh, if that's the only option you have, and particularly you know schools in the U.S. are incredibly expensive. So if you don't have that that kind of money, and if you can't get a scholarship to get in, um, then that's that would be the plan B. Just move to a city where you have prominent instructors, and then take lessons from them. So depending on what you want, you might take say guitar lessons with um, one or two. Uh, great players. You might take, say, arranging lessons from someone else. You might take composition lessons from someone else. You know, all private. And that's still, I mean, it will be a lot of money uh, if it's on a weekly basis, but it's still not going to be as much money as if you were uh, going to school. So that, like I said, that, that could be the plan B. Um, but um, what you don't necessarily have with that is the uh, the, the networking of you know me getting to meet people of your age, um, and um, and you just don't have that those connections that you might be able to that you will you know most likely be able to um, to make use of once you are relocating somewhere else, whether it's New York or. Los Angeles or whatever, you know, whatever city you, 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 you wish to move to. So, um, I'm, I think I just covered the, the, the points I wanted to, to cover regarding uh, music schools. Uh, feel free to add some comments. Um, you, maybe you, you disagree with what I'm saying or you have some other points to, to make, things that I just didn't think about. So feel free to... Um, to um, to uh, to write and uh, and just um, and uh, and comment on that. Okay, so that that's it for today. We are going to uh, leave it at that, and I will see you around. Thanks for listening to this, and um, hopefully you'll subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, and continue to uh, to follow. All right, take care now. Bye.